after the credit report is analyzed, it would take you to um, the notifications tab will tell you that you've got your credit reports ready to go. Then that would take you over to your letters that you approve, edit, deny, or submit, um, or recreate. Sorry about that. And then you would see on your dashboard like a, sna a snapshot synopsis summary of like your current credit situation. And then profile area is where you can go at any point in time to update verification images. Okay. And then right here, this would take you back to the last screen. If you click that close button, you can update your personal info. Okay, same thing here. We're going to close that. And then update password. You can update your password right there. Or you can log out of the app. Now look, down here, we have a notification already where it showed that little red dot. It says dispute letters to approve. Click here to view your letters tapping that and then it says new dispute letters generated please view and approve your letters to be sent letters will be automatically sent in 48 hours and what that means is if you don't approve edit deny or recreate your letters the app is going to automatically assume that you have approved them and it's going to go ahead and submit them so you need to be aware of that so let's click go to and then that took us over to this letters tab okay so I'm going to show you this dashboard you can always go back to letters by clicking down here anytime you want so let's go look at a letter so free credit report request Experian okay we want to ask for a free credit report from them also so that we can establish a case file so all of your letters are always unique it shows a subject line it shows a date who it's going to it shows um, like a salutation it shows a body of a letter and then it shows a signature name address like an apartment number city state zip and on the app remember everything's encrypted so what it says here is hidden and hidden the only people that can see that information are the credit agencies after it's submitted to them so in here you can deny or you can submit or you can come down here to edit okay and then on this edit you can click cancel okay or you can regenerate so if you click on regenerate and say okay it will create a new letter for you different layout different salutations slightly different language in the letter okay so it's pretty cool how that works it even changes up like your font size font type that sort of thing so now we're going to say yes this letter looks good and then we would click submit okay and then your trade line dispute you would go in here and this shows like what a simple like what a trade line dispute now your mobile screen scrunches this stuff up on your letter it won't be scrunched up like that as much okay uh, but it shows the date account name account number that you're wanting to dispute okay and the same thing here you can deny submit or you can regenerate your letters or right here you could turn off an account if you want to so I'm turned off one of those and now whenever it reloaded the letter you only have one account being disputed now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna say I want to turn the other one off click OK now I can turn one the other one off okay now I'm just gonna go back in there and turn them both on and then regenerate a new letter so now I'm regenerating a new letter and it looks a little bit different different salutations different language so now I'm gonna say submit personal information dispute over here so personal information is like you're disputing like an old address so I know that this person does not live at this address we're gonna mask this out anyway so you can't see it but he does not live at this address so we're disputing that okay so an app is doing it so nobody had to manually create any letters okay so over here same thing so I know that this letter's good please provide me with a free copy of uh, credit reports free credit report request with TransUnion created submit trade line dispute over with another place look this one we've got five accounts we're disputing okay so this one I'm gonna click submit and then one more where we're disputing some more personal information different dispute letter and you can regenerate as often as you want to okay so like this one you can see that it says attention dispute department right here um, and then please dot 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 delete the following false personal identifying information we're gonna click regenerate again let's see if it looks different 
this one says um, it moved it so instead of being up on the top it moved it down and then this one says dearest dispute supervisor okay so now we're going to click submit 